Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Okay, welcome to uh, Oklahoma City. Local time here is 3.14 a.m. Temperature is at 83 degrees. Today, once again, it is September 23rd, 2014. And today is a Tuesday. Then uh, Forrest Gump's mama died on a Tuesday. Right? Mama died on a Tuesday. Forrest Gump said that. Alright, uh, for some reason, I don't know why I kept repeating and repeating that Jesse's uh, terminal is located in uh, Pacific. It's actually called Republic. Republic is located about five miles or less southwest of uh, Springfield, Missouri. Looks like I could make it there if I wanted to. But I don't know if I really could. Uh, one of the issues that I've been having lately with uh, the e-log is uh, let's suppose I only had seven hours for the day or for example take it like today I only had nine hours and 45 minutes available today now that's including driving and on duty not driving so basically what that means is you have nine hours to accomplish nine hours and the more you take breaks the more it, you get hung up on doing on duty not driving that's less than less driving that you get to do and the moment you punch in regardless of how much work you did or lack thereof nine hours and 45 minutes later you're done yeah, you're, you got to take a 10 hour break supposed to supposed to if you had 11 hours and 14 hours then you can uh, then you have 14 hours to accomplish your 11 hour driving that means you can afford to take breaks and stops and loads and fuel and, and it will not affect your driving hours but lately Sandy, even though I only have 9 hours and 45 minutes for the day, Sandy will allow me to have available hours until the 14th hour rule, which shouldn't be. So I don't know why that is and uh, well since I I punched in at 8.24 or 8.25 this morning guess what at 8.25 at 8.25 a.m. plus 9 hours and 45 minutes later yeah, I'm done. I gotta take a 10 hour break. Regardless of what Sandy says. 
So that's some kind of a computer glitch that people that has to address. Otherwise DOD will address it and oh boy. DOT charges a whole lot to adjust those glitches. Aha. Alright, let's see. We gotta take this 44 east. Right lane. I wonder if this is just a one right lane or two or what. It has been a while since I've been through this road. It's familiar but as they say in trucking don't try to memorize it and be confident you know where you're going because next thing you know you'll, you'll be lost Sequoia you really I don't know I just thought that if if you're gonna cut off somebody Cut off a four-wheeler, not a big truck. Not that, not that we are, you know, highly good people. You shouldn't cut off, but it's for your safety. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of concentration to stop an 80,000 pound truck. If you gotta cut off somebody, cut off a four-wheeler, not, not an 80,000 bullet. I guarantee you it would hurt. It would hurt dearly. Hey Blue, what are we doing today, Blue? Ah, you better not say anything, Blue.
expedition. It's at least 55. We gotta go through Tulsa, Oklahoma today. right beside me. Boy, I thought she was going to flip that car over for some reason. It's hard to imagine that thing cost, what, $60,000? Sheesh. straight we go straight yeah we go straight Wichita and Tulsa
should be coming up to uh, the Oklahoma Turnpike pretty soon. This is it right here, the Oklahoma Turnpike. Tow Road, Turner, Turnpike. So that means we'll catch you later, Johnny Be Good here. Have a good and godly day, everybody. Peace.